Good morning. Uh, on this Saturday um, morning on the 21st of March, um, I just thought I should share some thoughts with you this morning uh, in the midst of the coronavirus that is, uh, you know, busy causing havoc around us. Um, it just came into my heart very strongly this morning as I was thinking about everything. And I realized that this is probably a pretest for us as Christians. Um, you know, we know that tribulation is going to come yeah, in its full force, like proper, proper tribulation. And, um, you know, we, we are going to be tested. Uh, during the tribulation, the powers that be will be unleashed against the church especially. Uh, you know, the governments of the world and everything. And of course, uh, we must understand that the, the governments are doing the best they can under the circumstances right now to contain this virus. And, and right now I can't fault them. But my interest is in the response of Christians in this whole thing. <laughs> uh, the fear that is sometimes packaged as common sense you know that it seems to be gripping uh, the christian community is something that is of serious concern um you know throughout christianity even judaism there's always been test to the faith for example of the israelites uh, over different things that happened uh, in their lives and how they responded during those times uh, has always been very important uh, to their overall faith. I can just think about uh, the time where the Israelites wanted to move over to the Promised Land and 12 spies were sent out uh, to survey the land and they saw that the land was good and also that there were giants there. And <laughs> you know that 10 of the spies came back with a bad report bad in that they said look guys we know what god has promised but this is impossible this cannot happen these guys are going to swallow us we looked like grasshoppers uh, in our own eyes and so we did look like grasshoppers to them and uh, you know there was fear and panic in the in the camp of the israelites and only two two people caleb and joshua stood and said yes here are the facts. It is true that there are giants there. You know, this is, this is not going to be easy. But our God, who promised, uh, will indeed fight for us. And we will surely take the land. <laughs> and, and you must realize that the people who were saying this were the minority. The majority were saying, no ways. We are going to be swallowed. We are going to, uh, it's going to be over with us. And because of that, there was an uproar within uh, the, the, the Israelites. In other words, uh, the community, people rose their voices the, you know, against the two who were speaking faith. And, and it's very clear uh, it's happening again. And, and, and for me, this coronavirus thing is just a pre-test. It's, uh, it's not the real thing. And I can assure you, this coronavirus is going to be gone very soon. But how we behave as Christians during this time is going to tell a lot about how we'll handle real tribulation when it comes. And, um, you know, I want you to watch yourself, watch your faith during this time and see how you respond to this whole thing. And be very, very careful that, uh, you know, you will not lose your faith. The reality is there. Yes, coronavirus is, you know, when you look at Italy, it's terrible. The number of people that uh, died yesterday, it's terrible. Because they were not, they didn't take precautions. And, you know, we must. We must do everything in our power. But we should not move in fear. That is opposite faith. You know, we cannot move in fear. We cannot do things inspired by fear. We must do things inspired by faith. Fear uh, will ultimately lead us to destruction all of us so even you know and, and it's very interesting there are those who claim to be reformers in our time uh, who 
for some reason it's very interesting that they seem to be always against the church they have been saying a lot of things you know just because you used to be a false prophet and now god's grace has saved you doesn't mean that you have to be against everything that the church does there's a danger of going to the extremes all the time you know some will go will say i ignore what the government is saying just mingle we have faith that's an extreme and others will say let's shut down everything and not uh, not leave until this coronavirus passes that's an extreme and so you find that there are many who are, are holding on to extreme views of things and um sadly that's the, you know that's that's a, a dangerous position to take and so uh, in this time let us not find ourselves to be against the church of god uh, the people of god who want to practice faith during this time and to find ourselves on the side of those who actually want to shut the church down let us be encouraged uh, to do what is right let us be cautious uh, but let us remember that for us all we have is faith the currency that god understands uh, from us is faith not fear we will not be ruled by fear and we have seen again and again that those who are ruled by fear ultimately they lose let us be encouraged during this time and stand uh, for the faith in our lord jesus christ knowing that yes the times are evil when this dust settles where will your faith be you know what would you have written on your facebook uh, that you will wish to have pulled down because god has proved once again to be god who is in charge let us remember some things are going to start moving seriously watch uh, from the month of may uh, you will see uh, what god can do god bless you